forecast with meteorologist Adam Young. Well, we certainly haven't had any weather around here to be affecting very many flights for today. In fact, just a few pop-up showers, exactly what we thought would happen for today has. You know, we saw a few off to the east, a few off to the west, and, and this is really all that's left now. Just getting right across I-27, right around the crest area. Most of this probably isn't even reaching the ground. We still might see one or two more pop up before sunset, but once sunset happens, any chance of seeing anything's going to end. And as I mentioned earlier, these have mostly been just wind producers. Most of the rain hasn't even reached the ground. Dimmit saw 52 mile an hour wind gusts out of this stuff earlier on. And once this ends, we're not seeing anything coming in from New Mexico either. Uh, New Mexico, usually we'd see some activity in the higher terrain that would just kind of roll down, at least get to the panhandle, if not the South Plains, but nothing going on out there here for uh, tonight going into early tomorrow morning. So out there right now, we're still seeing uh, temperatures in the triple digits, 100 degrees, south winds 21 miles an hour. We've seen wind gusts up 20 30 miles an hour for today. First time in a while we've had that. Not windy by any stretch of the imagination, but been a little bit, so that was the noticeable part. And as far as tomorrow goes, a little bit lighter winds, but still mostly out of the west southwest, uh, especially earlier on the day. And that's going to help bump those temperatures up to about 101 degrees again for tomorrow. Once again, within a, about a degree. I think the record tomorrow is 102. Uh, so that's going to be something. Now there are some changes on the way, and we're crossing our fingers but I don't want to go too overboard with this just yet because it's so far out in the distance. But Saturday, this is something I think the models are hitting on that's kind of similar to what we saw uh, today and could see again tomorrow with very isolated activity. Looks a little bit more widespread than what I'm thinking it is, at least right now. But we'll watch that for the tech end. But Sunday, watch this little disturbance that comes down. Maybe a little bit of a dry line that tries to form. Bottom line is this might actually have some cooler air to go along with it. Now, models this far out and we're so far out of the normal, really try to go back to normal for this time of year. They try to force themselves that way. So I'm not going to take this, I'm going to take it with a grain of salt until I see this day in and day out here for about the next two days, maybe three days. And then we'll see how the beginning of next week really starts to look. But here for tomorrow, as we go into tonight, all that activity tapers off for tomorrow. About the same thing. Models trying to bring it into mostly the rolling plains. It could be a little bit further off to the east, the west, excuse me. Uh, but really, once again, about a 10% chance of rain, and that's really all we're going to be looking at. So lows for tonight as you're waking up tomorrow morning, mostly 70s, a few 60s off to the northwest. Tomorrow afternoon just going to be hot. We're looking at 105 degrees, if not more, off the cap rock, on the cap rock, 99, 100, 101 is going to be pretty common, and, but a 10% chance of rain. And then we're dry for a couple of days, but those temperatures remain in the triple digits and every single day within a degree or two of the record. It'll be hot. Thanks so much.